If you know anything about me, you know I love cooking with booze. I'm gonna show you guys how to make bourbon meatballs in a slow cooker. You ready? Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So right here we have some ground beef here, some panko breadcrumbs. We have our bourbon here, honey, barbecue sauce, egg, chopped onions, some fresh parsley, some slap your mama Cajun seasoning, black pepper, molasses, olive oil, minced garlic, some grated Parmesan cheese, some W sauce, and some sweet chili sauce. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start off by preparing our meatballs. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna to wanna to cheat, and you can by going to buy you some frozen meatballs. And if you wanna do that, that's fine. You can go ahead and skip this step and go straight to the crock pot recipe uh, farther along in the video. But we are not taking the easy way out over here on our wings everything. We're gonna make some fresh meatballs. I love them like this. They taste way better than that frozen stuff. So right here, we got our uh, ground beef in our uh, bowl right here. We're just gonna start off by adding our Cajun seasoning, add that black pepper, that minced garlic, our breadcrumbs, our egg, onions, Parmesan cheese, and that uh, fresh parsley. All right, so let's go ahead and get our hands dirty and get this mixed up. All right, so we got this mixed good. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next step and start forming our meatballs. Well, I'm gonna take the scooper it's about a tablespoon or maybe a tablespoon and a half ground beef out like that. Drop it in my hand and we're just going to start rolling our meatballs or ground beef into meatballs just like that. Sit that right there. Of course, this is tedious, guys, so I'm not going to torture you with this. We're going to go ahead and do one more so you guys can see. Roll it up, and these give nice sized meatballs. I like it because your meatballs are even, or at least you know they're gonna be somewhat even, and place it right there. So let me go ahead and do that, finish all of them up, and I'll be right back. All right, so now that we have all our meatballs formed, you could do one or two things. You could put them in the oven and bake them, or you could do it on your uh, stove. So we're gonna move over to the cooktop and do it on our stove, all right? So let's get over to the cooktop. All right, so let's start heating up our pan. I'm gonna add our olive oil here and let that come up the temperature. All right, so let's start dropping our meatballs in here. So we're gonna allow them to cook fully. All right, so it looks like we are there. And if they're not fully cooked, I'm okay with that because they're gonna finish off in a slow cooker. But we're good, I like that nice brown sear that we have on them. So I'm just gonna start removing them and adding them to this bowl right here so we can cook our second batch because we got more to do. Take a look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and start adding our remaining meatballs. All right, so we're gonna remove our second batch. They're done, add them to our bowl. Let's pause this heat or turn it off. We're not gonna use that anymore. All right, so it's time to get over to the crock pot. All right, so before we get over to the crock pot, let's go ahead and prepare our bourbon sauce. So we're gonna take this bowl, we're gonna add our barbecue sauce here, our bourbon, our chili sauce, W sauce, molasses, and our honey. All right, so I had to switch that up, man, because that was tipping in the scale a little bit. So we're gonna get this mixed up. And this is much better. Guys, and this is what we have. Now let's move over to the crock pot. All right, so now we're gonna add our meatballs to the crock pot. Let's just dump these babies in here with all that goodness. And now what we're gonna do is take our bourbon sauce and we're just gonna pour it here over our meatballs. I don't know about y'all, that looks good already. And if you need to, you can get this stirred up just to make sure you get all the sauce on all the meatballs, but no need to do it right here because it looks like all of them are well coated. And throughout the recipe, what we'll do, or throughout the cooking process, what we'll do is we'll 
move them around to make sure they all cook evenly. Now we're gonna take our top, we're gonna cover it, cook this on low for four hours. In every hour or so, we're gonna come in and we're gonna stir our meatballs. That way we make sure that they cook evenly, all right? All right, so we're about two hours in. Let's just take a look and see what we have. We wanna just move these uh, babies around, make sure they all get fully cooked. Man, take a look at that. All right, now that we've moved them around, we're gonna put our lid back on it, let it cook for two more hours. Then we're gonna come back for the final presentation and you already know, quality control. Man, they smelling good. All right, so we're four hours in. Let's unveil our meatballs. Take some of that juice that we have, put it around the top of it like that. And I'm gonna top it off with some fresh chopped parsley, kind of add a little color to it. Guys, what do you think about that? And there you have it guys, slow cooker bourbon meatballs. Let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section below. Guys, it smells good. I'm gonna leave the measurements and ingredients in the video description below. Let's go ahead, jump over to quality control so we can test these babies out because I'm ready. All right, let's go. All right, so it's quality control time, guys. Man, this thing is too hot. I can't even lift it all the way up. But look at those meatballs, man. Oh man, that bourbon sauce on there, ooh, oh man. Let's see what these babies are about. Man, you guys know I love cooking with booze. Man, the flavor is so good. Mm. So guys, give this a try. I know you're gonna love it, and I know I'm gonna get some people in the comment section say, but do I have to use the bourbon? Yeah, you do. You do. If you want it to taste like this, you do, all right? No, I'm just playing, guys. If you don't want to use the bourbon, that's fine. But if you like cooking with booze, definitely try with the bourbon. Until then, guys, I'm your cook, Spinelli. Y'all already know, always everything. And remember, I ain't a chef. Just cook a lot, and I'm out. Peace.